Israel's finance minister says the war with Hezbollah should be over by the end of the year. Bezal Smotrich was speaking at a press briefing about the 2025 budget. Meanwhile, the Lebanon-based militant group has named a new leader. Naim Qasim is set to replace Hassan Nasrallah, whom Israel assassinated just over a month ago. Let's bring in Bloomberg's executive editor for Middle East, North Africa and Russia, Stuart Livingstone Wallace. Uh, first of all, let's just talk about the appointments of Naim Qasim. Not a surprise, really. Uh, he's, his name was one of the names that was in the mix. But uh, is the appointment of Qasim likely to change uh, the course of this conflict or Hezbollah's intentions? No, it, I mean, I don't think so. He's definitely in the same uh, mold as Nasrallah. And remember, they were sort of, to some extent, running out of options about who they can make a leader because the obvious successor, which was Safiyadin, was, again, eliminated shortly after Nasrallah. Uh, and then going forward, you know, it remains to be seen how long he will stay as leader. You know, there was this rather ominous text from Gallant shortly after the appointment was made public saying, you know, this, this is going to be a short run thing. So at least from the Israeli point of view, they are clearly uh, declaring that they're going to continue to go after Hezbollah's leadership. Yeah. Uh, so let's just bring it back to the comments from the Israeli finance minister saying uh, that he anticipates the war to be over by the end of the year. How likely is it actually that the conflict, the, the, the front that is going on in Lebanon right now will actually be over and completed from Israel's perspective by the end of the year? I mean, I think there is a degree of optimism out there, certainly from the U.S. side, perhaps from the Israeli side. But again, it depends about what we're talking about when we're saying the conflict will, will be over. What do we mean by conflict? Do we mean the ground invasion that we're seeing in southern Lebanon? Because it's absolutely clear that Israel would dearly like to get its troops out again. You know, it, it is problematic for them to be there in the long term, as we saw back in the 80s into the 90s and then into the 2000s. It is very difficult to extract yourself. If we're talking about the end of missile attacks on Israel, again, think about Hezbollah's sort of founding charter. It's raison d'etre. It is the elimination of Israel. So. In order for this conflict in the round to be over, effectively what we're saying is Hezbollah has to step back from its founding principle and it has to disarm and it has to get out of southern Lebanon. And that would seem quite high insurmountable mm. barriers to surpass over the next couple of months.